what's going on YouTube my family and my friends back today with another exclusive video for y'all as y'all can see I'm about to do this Chucky wanna play it's Chucky why I got that color that color let's change that to black real quick just because just because Alright, there we go. Chucky, wanna play? Now, uh, when I originally did it the first time, it was white, meaning this part right here was uh, glitter. White glitter, like so. That's how I looked at it at first. But this time when I do it, I'm going to use silver. It won't be glitter, it'll actually be silver reflective. These parts down here that were glitter will now be foil. Then I'll do the blade handle, and then everything else will just be in uh, solid red. Well, it won't be in red, it'll be in uh, holographic red. Alright, so to achieve that, first we have our cut files. Look at all these cut files. Alright, so we got how many different colors? I'm gonna shrink, I'm gonna condense it though. That's what I'm gonna wanna do. So we got one, which is the red paint splatter. Two, which will be the reflective for the face. Three are like some accents for the splatter. Four is like the black. If you were putting it on a white shirt, this black would be needed. But I'm putting it on a black shirt. So I probably won't use that. More accents here. Probably cut them accents out there. And then we have the eyeball. Well, the glow in the dark part to the eye here. Then we got the knife handle. So I'll probably be using, let's see here. Cut out the red, cut out the reflective, cut out this part over here. Well, I actually, I actually can blend those two together and cut both of them out at once. Then we got the black for the hand. So I'll be cutting out one, two, three pieces here, and then four, and then five. Cutting out five different pieces of vinyl. Alright, moving right along. Okay, so now to cut this foul out, all you pretty much do is select everything that's in the workspace, or everything that you want to cut out. Come here to your templates, and then I like to leave it on new page, and I like to come down here to vinyl overcut, stone 2 plus cut. I can do a vinyl overcut here. I like to do the vinyl overcut stone 2 plus cut. Even if I'm not working with vinyl. I mean with rhinestone. And all you have to do is right click on that. And Corel Draw will do its magic. And as you can see. It has converted it. So we don't need these. Whatever those are. I guess that's when you try to convert whatever the rhinestones. So this is what we will need to cut it out to, to create that Chucky shirt. Let's go through here. Select all the yellow. Delete all the yellow. I don't need that. Here's my red. And you, you want to remember to mirror it because it is vinyl. So I mirrored it. I like to copy it. And then I'll paste it in my gray cut which is my cutting software over here like so there we go this is, I'm working with a uh, 20 inch vinyl this image is 14 inches 14 and a half inches by 11 so I'll leave it like this since I'm working with 20 inches and with 
going this way and I'm working with like however many a yard going this way 36 inches going this way but I only need 11 inches going on the X axis and 14 and a half on the Y so that's just great next what I like to do is make sure I'm working with uh, enough pressure so I know the pressure for this that cuts out great um, I think I, I got to do another test cut I gotta remember to write this down right now so let's do like 110 let's do an update on 110 and then let's do a cut test I'm using an expert GCC 24 inch vinyl cutter it's the regular one it's not the one that has the optical eye on it but that's okay I've been able to get a lot of great projects done with this so, yeah, let's move over to the cutter. Alright, here we are. Here we are. There's my Expert 2 for Export 24. That's my vinyl cutter. As y'all can see, I have it sitting under this desk. And then I have my Cricut Explorer Air 2 there. Alright. To perform the cut test, all you have to do is come over to your vinyl cutter. On mine, I'll set the origin. And then I'll just hit cut test. The cut test is completed. As you can see by that square right there. Let's try to weed this out and see. If it weeds out perfectly with no resistance, it should be ready to go. Okay, now here we are over here back in uh, Great Cut again. And I have my VLCD3 pulled up, which pretty much controls the pressure and the speed from which my uh, Expert 24 cuts out. Right now we have it as a blade force of 110. And we'll perform a cut test. All right, now we have that weeded out. Came out pretty good. It had just a little resistance in this corner. But other than that, it came out pretty good, y'all. As y'all can see, it left the, the crosshair. I don't know if y'all can see that. Left the crosshair inside of the vinyl which lets me know that it cut through the vinyl all the way and even a little bit onto the plastic carrier sheet all right so that's ready to go okay now we're here in great cut three i like to highlight my design go to file output and since we know our pressure is set to 110 based on our VLCD settings, we change that to 110. We have our speed at 60. I like the save settings. I don't change anything up here, y'all. Even though if you if you are familiar with plotting and cutting and you read through what the each check mark meant, then it's pretty self-explanatory. I like to hit save settings make sure that my coordinates are correct which they are 14.4 on the y axle and 11.005 on the x so save settings and second gotta set my camera up over here for the cutting over here and output look at that 
cutter go. Look at that cutter go. The little cutter that could. Almost start seeing that design pop out right there. Doesn't look like too much of nothing now. I'll give it a couple minutes. Hey y'all, here it is, all complete here. If I zoom in just a little bit, you can see it. But let me flip it over so y'all can see. Oh, there it is. Now you can see the design. But as you can see, that's like it's the color change, and it goes from purple to blues to red to magenta to like a orange. You'll see it better on the shirt, but you can find this in the link down below. This is the uh, holographic firelit pearl color. The firelit pearl. All right, next I have the reflective vinyl from Caesar. You can't really see the reflective, but look at that cut job. Right here's the Freddy, the knife part, or the the saw, or the axe part. Okay, now I have my four pieces cut out, which is the one to play. I still need to finish weeding out the one to play part. I go Chucky. I did it twice because I'm going to do another shirt. There go the foil. And then there go the Caesar Twinkle. Alright. Okay. Now I have the placement down pretty much how I want it. Just checking it out. Just checking the design out. And now it's time for the press. What's going on YouTube, my family, and my friends? Excellent Dreams here, back with another video. I say back with another video, like this isn't the continuation of the video that I'm doing. So let me just move this here for y'all real quick. I thought I had it all set up and ready to go. Move my hardboard off my heat press because I don't need it right now. Sit that over here. All right. Da 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 da. And we'll be starting. Got about four pieces of different medium here. We'll be starting with the first one, which is. Peel all this apart for y'all real quick. All right, here we go. Boom. First part is the red. Wanna play? We doing Chucky here. All right. So let's knock the moisture out the shirt like so. Yeah. Place the first part down, which is this red part. Pretty much want to get it on the center, and I like to use a method that I call my eyeballs. Three down. Well, this is a five x, so I like to go three and a half, almost four down on a five x. Boom! Get it right there in the center. Look at it again. Make sure it's centered by using my. My, my method and my technique called my eyeballs. Alright, now we're going to do a quick tack on that, y'all. Ah. Well, no, we can't do a quick tack on that. That's hologram, so that needs a full time. So we're going to go uh, about 10 seconds on that. Beep! Alright. 
because I've already done this shirt before and I've already worked with hologram before. I know that sucker needs to cool down. Cool it down. Cool it down. Slow it down. I think that's how the song went, but you know. Throw it back on the press like so. Still feels a little hot to the touch. But it's cool. Cool enough. No. What are you doing, buddy? How that piece come up? The little top little layer. Let's see. Press that back in. Press that back in. Throw that over there at the garbage can. Ah. Alright, alright. Now let's really cool this sucker down. I got this wall right here. I can just throw it up there, rub it against the wall. Cool it all the way down. This isn't an outside wall. Nonetheless, it's cool. All right. Now, let's get that off of there. There we go. There we go. Come on off now. That looks good. Wanna play? Right, that's the first part, y'all. Doesn't really look like nothing right now. As you can see here. It just says wanna play. Alright, with Chucky down here. All right, all right, moving on to the next part. Two pieces. We got the uh, Caesar Twinkle glitter. Then we got this reflective for the face. All right, let's get this reflective in there just right. We want it to where it's in there. And it's perfect. I'm going to line that up good to where it goes. Wait a minute, gotta cut this piece off right here, y'all. I gotta, I gotta cut the, this piece off right here that goes inside of the blade handle, or the axe handle. Now let's layer this in there again. Ever so perfect. That looks good. Boom. Now the blade handle goes in here like so. Boom. Boom. Just like that. Looking perfect. Now we got some exposed vinyl. So you already know we want to cover that up. I use packing paper. It's bigger than the traditional 16 by 20 inch cover sheet. Let's press that in. Ah, almost done. We just have the foil accents to add to the shirt. I'll bring y'all in here in a second so you guys can see what that looks like. Okay, so here is the shirt with no flash. Here's the shirt with flash. But wait, there's more. Now we add the foil accents. Goes here, like so. Get in there, here it is. Boom, like so. Then the other one goes pretty much like that. 
Just remember to cover it with our cover sheet, which I'm using packing paper. We got one more piece after this, y'all. Well, look at that. Gotta remember that foil needs to cool down. Cool it down. I be trying to, when you try to lift it up too fast, you can see the adhesive peel away from the shirt. So Repeat the same method. I bring it over here to the wall. Cool it down a little bit. Then I also have this wall over here, which is the outside wall. It's kind of cold outside, so this wall is a little, you can feel it as soon as you press the shirt against the wall, you can feel the cooling down process begin immediately. That's pretty good. Now, nothing will peel back, folks. All right. I like to save these pieces right here because they definitely come in handy when sometimes when the rhinestone flop just doesn't want to weed correctly. I save this piece right here. All right, last piece, y'all. Put that on, then I'm gonna show y'all the finished shirt. We got the inside to the blade handles. So, let's go ahead and use our press it. And let's cover it back up with the packet paper. We're gonna press it for a full 15 seconds, and then we're done. Y'all ready for this? There it is, folks. There it is. Look at the contrast between the reflective and the foil. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you're definitely liking this video, smash that like button. Also leave a comment down below if you would even attempt this. I have left links for all the materials down in the description. So yeah, I'm excited. He'll be pick picking this shirt up today and he'll definitely be like, man, yeah, that's a head turner. <laughs>